ETS test. Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following talk. Hello, Alberado Apartments residents. Thank you for letting me speak at tonight's tenant meeting. My name is Jay and I'm the new maintenance manager for the complex. In my first few days as maintenance manager, I've realised that many of you are having problems with the air conditioning in your apartments. So my crew and I will be coming around to each apartment over the next three weeks to inspect all the air conditioning units and decide which ones need to be replaced. The good news is, the pool will be opening for the summer next week. Don't forget to collect your pool passes from the main office on Monday. Number 1. Who is the audience for the talk? Number 2. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 3. What does the speaker remind listeners to do on Monday? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following telephone message. Mr. Lee, this is Andre Lavoro, calling to let you know that work on your car will be delayed by two days. The problem with the right wheel is fixed, but we haven't been able to start on the paint job since the paint you requested has to be special ordered. That shipment gets in tomorrow, and we expect to have the car ready for you by Friday. Please let me know if that's going to be a problem, because I can make arrangements with a rental car agency for you in the meantime. If you do need a rental car, please call me as soon as possible. My number here is 232-558-012. Thank you very much. Number 4. Where does the speaker probably work? Number 5. According to the message, what is causing the delay? Number 6. How does the speaker offer to help Mr. Lee? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Ms. Gould. This is Tim Ewart from Pennsburg Optical. I'm calling to let you know that there's been a slight delay with your prescription sunglasses. Since they were a special order, we have to wait for a supplier out of state to deliver those. I'm afraid they won't arrive until Friday, but I'll make sure to give you another call as soon as they're here in the office. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. The number is 555-3111. Number 7. Where most likely does the speaker work? Number 8. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 9. What does the speaker say he will do on Friday? Questions 10 through 12 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, you've reached Jerick Studios, Dalton's largest art gallery. Our exhibit space will be closed until June 4th while we undergo renovations to improve our facility. In the meantime, please visit our website at jerickstudios.net and sign up for our monthly e-newsletter. Besides gallery news and events, these newsletters also include information about other cultural events in Dalton. So sign up today and support our community. We hope to see you at the gallery soon. Number 10. What kind of business does the speaker work for? Number 11. Why is the business currently closed? Number 12. According to the speaker, why should listeners visit the website?
Questions 13 through 15 refer to the following advertisement. Big Field Sports has just opened a new location, and we want you to celebrate with us this weekend. Join us this Saturday for the grand opening of our new store on Nilsson Road in Bridgewater, just across from the River Department Store. Come see our huge inventory of equipment for every sport imaginable. We're fully stocked with camping supplies and hundreds of top of the line bicycles. And if you add your name to our mailing list, we'll mail you a certificate for 20% off your next purchase. Number 13. What does the store sell? Number 14. When will the store opening take place? Number 15. How can customers receive a discount? Questions 16 through 18 refer to the following introduction. I'd like to thank everyone for attending this workshop today. My name's Valerie Fairchild, and in this session we'll be talking about how to become an effective public speaker. In just a few minutes, I'll be leading you through a series of activities designed to build your confidence in front of large groups. But I see that we seem to be short on chairs. Please find a seat quickly so we see how many more chairs we need, then I'll contact the head of maintenance about having more brought into the room. Number 16. What is the topic of the workshop? Number 17. What concern does the speaker express? Number 18. Who does the speaker say she will contact? Questions 19 through 21 refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Mr. Davis. This is Susan Chen from Freiburg Transport, returning your call with an update on your order. The truck carrying your shipment left our warehouse on Tuesday as scheduled. However, due to bad weather, the truck probably won't arrive at your store until Friday evening. We apologize for the delay. Will someone be at your store Friday after 6 p.m. to receive the merchandise? Please call me back so I can notify the driver. Thanks. Number 19. Who is Mr. Davis? Number 20. How has the merchandise been sent? Number 21. Why has the shipment been delayed? Questions 22 through 24 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is Mary Fuller, manager of the Wakeson Hotel. There's a problem with some of the lighting you installed in the hotel's garden last Friday. The lights around the flower beds are fine, but the spotlights that are supposed to illuminate the fountain aren't working. We replaced the bulbs, but that didn't help. So could you come to the hotel tomorrow to check the wiring? Normally we wouldn't be in such a rush, but we're hosting a wedding in the garden this weekend. It's in the evening and we'd like to have the fountain visible in the wedding photos. Please give me a call as soon as you can. Thanks. Number 22. Who is the speaker? Number 23. What is the problem? Number 24. 
What is planned for this weekend?